We recorded this video kind of urgently because uh, Russia has attacked Ukraine with one of the strongest missile attacks in long time. Russians hit children's cancer ward and uh, maternity ward in Kyiv. Uh, Russians hit other cities like Dnipro. 33 people dead and 140 wounded by the time we record this. People are still under the rubble. And, you know, we... We usually don't cover Russian war crimes on this channel every time they occur because they happen daily and it would be just a, it would be just a horror show. But this time, at this point, I, I don't know anymore. This, this is one of the most evil things Russians have done. I don't know, during this war, all of their, I don't know. It's just, it's just like pure evil shit. I can, there's nothing to say more. Well, if missile striking a child cancer ward is not an absolute worst despicable kind of evil terrorist act that can exist, I actually don't know what is. And you know what? Something else came to mind today that uh, actually Ukrainians and Syrians are actually not that similar, but in a worst kind of way. You know, other countries like to share culture, cuisine, music. No, we... Uh, and Syrians share one thing in common. Russians love to bomb children's hospital in our countries. Now, this is, this is terrifying. Um, this is something that we had to live with, with for a couple of, you know, years now. But this is strikes a different chord because there are a lot of people online who would like to say that this was, you know, just a mishap. Uh, Russians were targeting something else and then they missed. Well, the truth is, and I know it's hard to believe, guys, but it's not. This is what they do. Even some people already on the internet who tried to make excuses for Russia in the beginning because they couldn't believe that Russians would attack a children's hospital in downtown Kiev, they first said, well, it must have been like a wrong strike. They must have aimed at something else. Even some of those people have changed their minds at this moment. For instance, a uh, deaf mon who likes to pretend like he's um, a Ukraine military supporter. Expert. who, Yeah, or a military expert who likes to spew Russian narrative and, you know, thinking that he can draw a couple of arrows on the MS paint uh, on some pictures from Ukraine, make him a military analyst and a war general. But yeah, even him, when he first uh, wrote his tweets about this event, uh, first making things up from thousands of miles away about what actually happened in Kiev, he, even he changed his mind after being informed of the facts from people in Ukraine currently on the ground. Yeah, well, it's, 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 it's just like... Uh, first of all, I, I understand. I totally, I, I totally get it. It's really hard to comprehend the, the amount of evil and uh, like the, the rationality of evil, uh, which is in Russians, in, in, in Russian actions. You try to justify it. You, ch you try to find it. Oh no, they wanted to strike military object. Oh no, they wanted to strike it. Like, and then just to, try to, to just to try to justify why would someone even if he wants to conquer the country i don't know commit genocide whatever why would someone just randomly shoot her missile in a cancer ward in a in a hospital full of children sick sick children ill with with cancer their mothers and uh and and and, and doctors there who try to save their lives why would someone do that but then we have Russians who did that, totally did that, and uh, it, like it, it, it wasn't like we could like we could uh, like people will argue, of course, online that you know that Ukrainian air defense or something. We have video of Russian rocket directly striking Ukrainian children's hospital. It's just and 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 it's not only one. In another part of the city, Russian strike maternity hospital, maternity ward. And uh, why would they do that? Well, I don't know. Try to find answer. Why would they it do that? It shouldn't be a question. It shouldn't be a question after two and a half years of genocidal war 
where every single cell of a, a Russian organism that is a Russian country screams at everyone saying, we want to murder this nation. We don't care about them. We just want to have their kids, you know, kill them. We will strike their hospitals. There is a picture of a bunch of children doing their chemotherapy on the street because, you know, they can't be inside of the hospital anymore because it's severely damaged. But somehow people still, after two and a half years of just hold card evidence, refuse to acknowledge the truth. I would like to come back to something very specific to American kind of cultural media narrative, unfortunately familiar for, for our friends in America. You know, them, uh, there was this uh, guy in America who liked, I don't want to say his name because I don't want to popularize his him on the internet, but you know who I'm talking about. This guy who said that the Sandy Hook shootings were staged. Oh yeah, you great know, guy. There are people who, uh, yeah, great guy. Owes, owes one billion dollars now to to people. Who yeah, yeah. Trained, yeah. So it's this good. guy, this guy thinks that because there is some sort of freedom of speech that allows him to spew nonsense, he was he actually felt so confident as to say that these parents they were staging their children's murders and this was all not true. Well, we have a person like that in the making right now. The infamous Jason Jackson Hinkle, who likes to visit Russia and suck on Putin's intimate parts, uh, he posted a bunch of tweets being again, trying to play a cosplay, a military expert, taking, you know, screenshots of a very blurry images of a rocket in the sky and comparing it to a picture of a Russian missile, again, stupidly, very blurry and stupid. And he accused Ukraine of striking our own children's hospital. Yeah, that's that's well, what we do, right? That's what we lack, just killing our yeah. own children. Because Russians are not doing good enough, apparently, right? Um, something else that is deeply worrisome to me is that the amount of attention and media coverage it got... Uh, I'm not, I'm not trying to pick on like small things here, but actually, I don't know if there is such a thing as small thing when you talk about, um, you know, uh, dead children. Um, the New York Times actually posted a one teeny tiny news article about the event. And this teeny tiny news article, um, they actually used a picture for a peck shot of one of the uh, buildings that were hit in this massive, massive uh, missile strike on Ukraine today. And, 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 and the picture, it's not accurate. They didn't post a picture of a, you know, hospital. They posted a picture of one of the buildings and it's kind of underplaying the scale of what happened. I mean, I know I'm picking, as I said, the small things now. But this is just, nobody's going to, like most people don't read the article. You have to choose what you put on your thumbnail. Yeah, it's, it's, also, it's also far from the first lines in the website. Uh, also, uh, CNN, right? CNN put, uh, put after it said that uh, Russian rocket killed, uh, hit children's hospital, it said officials say, like, that's not an objective reality. Like, like there is hospital, but the officials say something else, right? What, what, what yeah, do you mean it's by like that? Russians, Russians bombed a trash can in downtown Kiev, but the but government, it, according to their words, they bombed they a hospital. Say, yeah, it's they not, say, it's not like, like, it's not yeah, like you I, have people on the ground. We could say that these are, uh, standards these are this is how they they do things but again when hospital in gaza was hit it was on the front page in every media it was covered and uh at the same time here you look at this the the, the, the these are children children with cancer are standing outside or lying under the rubble when their hospital got hit and uh, there's so little media attention. It's like nothing ha nothing serious has happened. What the fuck? This is one of the most serious things at all. Like this is th this is happening in the center of Europe. This is serious, but we are still like nah. Um and yeah, and it just seems like and yet another day. And then yet again, we have to deal with things like. Trying not to live in a weird world where you listen 
the to the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden, state that he stopped Putin, and then with your other ear, you listen to the screams and wailing of children in a hospital. Uh, actually, you know, just after the missile strike. So this is a weird situation that we find ourselves in at this point. And I would like to address another thing that we again like to talk about on this channel, but we don't talk nearly enough about it when we talk about I events like this. It's the so-called escalation management. You know, my favorite phrase of all time at this point, Jake Sullivan and his escalation management, how everybody's super afraid to strike a military airfield somewhere in Russia because this would, you know, escalate things. Rocket attack that killed 30 people at the largest children's hospital. Does this shift the U.S.'s position on not allowing Ukraine to strike directly at Russian airfields that originated these attacks? Shift the position. Yes. Make you change your mind about not allowing that, and how do you justify not giving Ukraine permission to attack? Well, there's been no change in our, our policy. You saw that the president several weeks ago uh, uh, gave guidance to Ukraine that they can use U.S. supplied weapons to strike targets just over the border. That's still the case. The main question is not whether Russians are evil or whatever. Yeah, they, we, we all know that. They definitely are. But whether this was preventable, right? It's not just like hurricane or something like that. The, this, this is specific things some people do, and someone could stop them from doing that. And probably someone could do something about it. And it doesn't. So I'm not a military expert. I don't draw lines on the maps or whatever. But there's one thing that military experts, all military experts agree, and uh, even American military doctrine agree. Americans, uh, Americans uh, fight wars like that. If you want to protect yourselves from missile strikes, um, you don't like the air defense, Patriot systems, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, are important, of course. But the first thing you should do if you like if it's possible is to hit places where they launched from right the launch pads for 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 ballistic missiles should be hit the airfields with airplanes which um which hit you with missiles should be hit etc cetera, etc cetera. and russian airfields and russian ballistic missiles are launched from places which Ukrainians cannot possibly hit, right? We don't have, like, we, we have att attack camps, but we are forbidden from hitting these places. We're essentially, <laughs> we're essentially defenseless by all normal standards from this stuff. And uh, the, the Patriot, uh, Patriot missiles are extremely, extremely expensive to produce they're ex extremely expensive they're extremely scarce we don't have a lot of them we have to ration them uh all other air defense systems are extremely rare extremely uh you know what what's cheap it's cheap to heat russian airfields with attack amps but we are not allowed why are we not allowed melania because escalation which is because apparently... we're afraid of escalation yes which is apparently not what's happening right now, and everybody seems fine with all this. So, yeah. hitting hitting Ukrainian, uh, blowing up Ukrainian dam and causing ecocide, literally making half of Ukrainian agriculture untenable, uh, killing I don't know how many people they are under occupation, uh, putting putting military equipment into the. Um, Nuclear station is not an escalation, right? Um, whatever. W what do they, what do they do? Like all kinds of things, hitting Ukrainian buildings, raising cities to the ground, whole cities with dense and hundreds of thousands of people, raising them to the ground is not escalation. But somehow hitting Russian airfields is. And after like a year ago, we were talking about that probably. And it was escalation to hit Crimea with attack amps. Now Crimea is hit daily with attack amps. There is no sign of escalation. What well, has I changed? Remember, I remember that giving Ukraine attack amps was escalation. I remember giving Ukraine tanks was an escalation. I remember even giving Ukraine any sorts of weapons was escalation. Just yeah, every but... single thing was escalation all day, every day. Yeah. It's... it's, it's... Is, does anyone is anyone asking questions? What the fuck is escalation? 
like how how do you how do you measure it and how do you think like okay that's not escalation now let's let's give them rockets which are well as long now. as it's ukrainian children dying i don't think it's deemed as escalation so yeah that's pretty much it we don't usually as mark said describe and discuss uh, russian war crimes here every time because well actually we would have to do this 24 7 365 times a year at this point because this happens daily but this was way too important for us to overlook uh, I hate to say this actually right now because it seems really crappy, but in order for us to keep what we uh, do here and do more of it, please subscribe to the channel. Please share this video. It's actually very important since I'm getting really tired of explaining to people on Twitter uh, and, and the scope of what Twitter allows you to explain, uh, you know, how and why this is genocide and why people should arm Ukraine and not stop helping Ukraine when they become presidents or when they keep being presidents after the elections uh yeah send this video to everybody you know and let's just hope maybe this is the end and maybe uh these children are the last children in europe who actually have to endure all of this uh and yeah uh, see you guys next week hopefully mm -hmm.